Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, I have a rather tall, elegant bottle next to me. It is uh, Miguel Torres Chili's Nectaria, uh, Late Harvest 2010 Botrytis Riesling. Uh, from whereabouts is it from? Um, does it say on here? Uh, no. Uh, they do, I know they've got a lot of uh, vineyards in Curico, but I don't know whether this, this particular one is from Curico. It's, they've got the address of the winery as being Curico, but I can't see... Um, I can't see the um, yeah I can't see the, the region on the label. Anyway, let's give it a whirl. Well, I look at the colour of that and um, I smell it, and it's it's um, I mean it's nearly it's coming up for its seventh birthday in, in a few months, so it's it's not a young wine. And uh, what I do find with uh, wines uh, from places like Chile, where there, there seems to be quite a lot of heat and certainly sunlight on the grapes. They mature faster than uh, their equivalents in Europe. If I if I were to have a uh, a ten year old uh, sorry a two thousand and ten Botrytis Riesling from uh, from Germany for example, I think it would be uh, paler in colour uh, and uh, still have a little uh, a bit more freshness than this. I don't know how how sweet it does. It say how sweet it? No, it doesn't say anything in there about sweetness levels. Um, the smell reminds me of um, a bit of marmalade. A bit of toffee apple, so they I, I like those those characteristics, and um, the wines it reminds me of, Brown Brothers Petritus Riesling, uh, crossed with Tokai. Well, that's a that's a filling chewer. It's got acidity. It's got this bitter, um, dark citrus peel edge, and it's got this kick of sweetness. Um, they could almost have. Um, th there's a bit of me that thinks that. Um, uh, I would have almost preferred them to stop the fermentation slightly earlier with a little bit more sugar because this balance between um, between sweetness and pithiness uh, it, it means that as it is at the moment um, it really is quite pithy but then there's another little bit of me that thinks well actually I quite like it in that balance where it's on that it's not an uh, out and out really it's not a sugar bomb um, I wouldn't be, this is what I find out, it's got millions of grams of uh, residual sugar, but um, intriguing wine, I'm, I'm going to, bear with, I'm going to have another slug at it. But what you haven't heard over the last um, several minutes is me umming and ahhing and going, oh there's this bit which I like and there's this bit which I'm not quite so sure about. The bits I'm sure about, um, I'm sure that I, I really like this caramelised orange character that's coming through. Um, what I'm not so sure about is that when you've got botrytis grapes, uh, there's hardly any juice in them and squashing them is an art. And uh, the, you have to do it in such a way that you get as much of the juice out and not so much of the, um, uh, of the bitterness that's in the skins. Uh, to detract from the wine. If you then get do get some bitterness out, then you need to make sure that it's balanced with the sugar, the residual sugar, and it's the, all these things that are going, oh, there's a little bit of that, a little bit of that. I, it's a wine that I, do, I I want to sit down and have a sip and then have a ponder for five minutes and then come back and have a ponder for five minutes. What I think I will definitely say is if you uh, serve me up a, a decent creme brulee uh, with maybe some citrus peel in the um, uh, in, in the in the, the plump juicy bit and um, maybe some uh, zest in the in the caramelized bit, uh, I think that would be an absolutely fabulous combination. Uh, as it is at the moment, I'm 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 intrigued by this. Uh, I'm going to taste this wine later on with some uh, some friends, uh, so I'll be fascinated to see how uh, how it's developed. How they get on with it? Is it too sweet? Is it not sweet enough? Is it too pithy? Is it not pithy enough? Um, I, 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 I think it's at least good. I'm not sure if it's great, but it could be getting into it very good. But uh, that's the sort of um, oh, compartmentalising that uh, wine people like to do. I, and uh, I, I'm I assure you that I will enjoy the process. <laughs> See you soon.